Okay, what's going on now is there's a whiny row of cars parked all along the streets and the residential areas of the polling place. And basically, we're getting ready to walk into the school. This will be my first election in the state of Maryland and this is what I have well, yes, question two. this is question Thank two you. that's the education so okay. the taxes won't have to be raised question two they're saying it's going to bring in more crime so what do you think about that it depends on what you consider crime uh, it's a crime for me to have to have my taxes raised too. That's a crime. Okay. Okay. But, but as they're far saying as seven. Me, first they said six hundred million mm -hmm. to seven hundred million shortfall for the board of education. Now they're saying if you vote, because I was gonna vote no. I'm mm -hmm. gonna tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. I was, but you're gonna make the difference. <laughs> okay. But you okay? You're saying with question two. Right. Basically, the education. It will go towards education. Yes. Only education. And but what about five hundred million dollars worth to fight crime? like corruption and drugs and addiction. Okay, all of that and, and, and the gambling anonymous. Well, every, everybody is a gambler. Right. Everybody's okay. a gambler. When if you do lottery, do, that's a gamble. Right. And Waking they, up this morning, walking down the street, <laughs> that's a gamble. And some of them were speeding and that's right. real good. Uh, but to have it so that it's here, mm -hmm. how many people do you see on those buses going to Charlestown, Dover, and all and taking the money out of here mm -hmm. and they still want to do it mm -hmm. they still want to do it if it doesn't pass here they're going to take it out of state so it's still our dollars going out of here that we could use okay but you do you believe that it's going to be a threat to crime boost up crime you know because we don't have enough okay. ambulance as it is all right but uh yes okay what happened when they changed over from the numbers to lottery Numbers Nothing. Were, no, numbers were illegal, right? Right. Okay, they had police running around. Okay, what happened was when they made it legal, that was no longer illegal. All right, a whole lot of illegal activity stopped because it was then regulated. Once it's regulated and taxed. Right, right. I'm not okay. saying it's not going to be corruption. It's corruption anytime you have humans involved in it. Thank you. Get exactly. Corruption, okay, but if you at least have some controls, some regulations on it, then it can benefit you. So you don't you don't believe that voting yes to number two will boost up the the crime right. to the point that we can't deal with right. it anymore. Right. And it right. will help the and township also, of Capitol Heights, District Heights, and C. Pleasant. And it also will free up some money that you wouldn't have for your police activities because if you don't have this money coming in, then that money is going to have to go to education that maybe would have gone to the police okay. department. Okay. All right, well, you sold me because I was going <laughs> to vote no. I was, I was like, wait a minute, okay. I cannot take any it, more it crime than we have. I know some people that are addicted to God, gambling. Yeah. And when they first open it up, I know they went in the hole and stuff, but they finally got some control on themselves. Mm -hmm. Okay, I had some friends in Illinois. When they opened it up, and it was husband and wife, and the husband didn't even know how far the wife was in debt. Mm -hmm. But both of them were in debt, mm -hmm. but they had both got control. It's a thing of control. Right. That's the thing right, because uh, the c commercial was uh, very persuasive. It said that M Annapolis was lying to us, and the crime was skyrocket, yeah, and yeah. there'd be no but control they, I mean, for it. They did it with, and with then you liquor. would, then what you would, with liquor? and they said then you would need twelve million, five million to fight down crime alone, and seven million for How the school budget. How much money budget. did they spend on Al Capone and liquor? Until Not a whole regulate. lot. No, they didn't. They spent a lot of money trying to catch Al Capone. Right. Before they made liquor legal. Right. Right, right. Okay. The speakeasies, all of those were illegal. Right. Once they made it legal. Oh, I know. My my, my grandfather <laughs> had his run, moonshine run going okay. on. I okay. know that. So yeah, there, there's going to be an element anytime you have humans, because humans are going to make a way mm -hmm. around something. But at least you have some laws and some regulations. Okay. So the thing is, is that they will be able to get a grip on this right. question number two, right. and that commercial is, right. was uh, kind of distorting it, hyperboling. What they're using, and hi, vote yes, question two. What what happens is, anytime you have a startup, mm -hmm. I'll use, we just built a new building, Census mm -hmm. Bureau, mm -hmm. okay. There was a cafeteria bidding process. Right. They bid for it. 
they're not going to make any profit mm -hmm. for three years. Mm -hmm. But they had to come in, put all the new equipment in. The, yeah, there is going to be some initial that you're not going to get and mm -hmm. see mm -hmm. refunds or revenue mm -hmm. from it because it's startup. Okay. Mm -hmm. Eventually, you'll see. Okay. Okay. Atlantic City wouldn't have lasted this long if they couldn't have made. Or oh, the Desert Oasis. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. Oh yeah, because I know. Running out there and building new casinos in Las Vegas. Right. If it wasn't a problem. And they're still building. And they, they're still me. building. I I planned the largest uh, electronic trade show back in 1989. They had had large trade shows, but they had never mm -hmm. had a turnout like that until I got involved. Okay. When yeah. I first started going to Las Vegas, you land at the airport and the um, Luxor. Mm -hmm. That was your point, right? Mm -hmm. Now, morning. Hello. Hi, how you doing? Now, the Luxor is here, mm -hmm. and now they have built... Mm -hmm. Hi. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now they have built uh, casinos all the way past mm -hmm. the Luxor, mm -hmm. all the way to the mountain. They have gone to the end of one mountain. They can't go any further. So now they got to go the other way because they have built so many casinos out there. Oh, yeah. but let me tell you, the Native Americans have built casinos in the mountains of Connecticut. Hello. And that is not inhabitable yes. land. I, I, hello. Inhabitable. Okay. Pequot, I, I just came, came back. Yeah. And Mohegan. Yeah. I just, I, yeah, I went to the corn <laughs> festival. Smite. I just came back in October from Foxwood. Yeah. Oh, um, is it beautiful? Yeah, it's beautiful. But I was also out in the desert. Uh -huh. Hello, how are you? Mm -hmm. They just have built Aqua Calalente. Mm. Okay. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Can't win. It's only been open a year. But oh. people are still going there. Okay. It ain't stopping from going there because there was nothing else for them to do. Well, I'm going to vote. I'm going to go ahead okay. and vote. You All sold right. me. If right. I hadn't but ran now, into you, I would have said no. <laughs> but now because they have the casino there, people are coming to that area. It was a retirement. Everybody was walking around with the, the walker and the oxygen tents. Now they got revenue coming in. Exactly. Because okay. you can look at the <laughs> fungus on the rocks from yeah. the 16 and 1700s. <laughs> yeah. 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 So it, 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 it is amazing. It, yeah. it is amazing so how you're, you're right. Casinos have been built in the deserts and right. the hard rocks of the mountains. Right. And right. and there's and it's beautiful. Right. The the whole area is blessed. Yeah, my it, cousin it, it my is. cousin uh, lived there, right? Mm -hmm. And he had so many rocks on him. He tried to sell them to the state. The state said, "We got enough rocks here. We don't need to buy your rocks." But yeah, they have built stuff where nothing else would have been able to prosper. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Well, my name is Thalia Sanders, and, and then you're in the trades, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Hi. Hi. Vote yes to uh, question two, education. Um, jobs right come on right come on Atlantic City was dying mm -hmm. okay as far as employment they started bringing those casinos in there gave revenue yes Okay. Exactly. And that's what's happened in Connecticut. <laughs> a lot of people got jobs from the casinos. Now, what is your name? Avis. And I'm with AFG. AFGE. Okay. okay. I'm okay. Thalia Sanders okay. and I'm with PBS. Okay. Thank right. you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye.